All right, so today I got to go to Lewiston, Lewiston, Florida, I think it's called, and I got to pick up a a load of sugar. But they want the trailer to be spotless. They want it to be clean. So I'm going to go to Home Depot, pick up a shop broom, try to get, get my trailer sweeped out because I don't want to be denied my load. So I got to go pick it up, and it delivers tomorrow in the same city I live. So I thought that was pretty cool. By the way, it is 48 degrees in Florida. 48 degrees. And it is no joke out here. Hey, the one day it is 40 something degrees, I gotta get in the back of that trailer and sweep it out. I am not excited about this at all. I'm gonna check out, go head to the truck, go sweep the trailer out. I want to take this time to say something inspirational and it's about fear because everybody has that one fight inside of them and that fight is fear but when you feel it you know you're doing something right you're supposed to go to it embrace it it's going to help self growth so don't be scared jump out there man you got goals dreams go for it all right this is what i call a clean sweep pun intended all right this is a clean sweep. Woo! Knock it out real quick. That's it. That's all she wrote. Alright. So I'm about to head to Cluiston. This route pays $7.81 a mile. Oh, and I got my new IFTA stickers. So they're blue this year for 2022. Um, the other ones were red, 2021s. I gotta pull those off, put these on, but I'll do that once I get the clues in at my pickup. While I'm sitting there getting unloaded, give me something to do. But yeah, so I'm, I'm heading to clues in. $7.81 a mile is not a long run. It's only about a two hour drive. Like I think it's like 91 miles to get there. So 91 miles back, but it still pays decent money. And so I'm gonna grab that load real quick and come right back. I'm not sure what these kids got going on. But they're all out. I don't know if it's a fire drill or what. Oh, the whole school's out. Yeah, it's got to be a fire drill. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Everybody's out. <laughs> he wanted me to hog the horn. They're even out over there. Okay. doing some country driving today. I'm in Moorhaven, Florida, and we're right alongside Lake Okeechobee. I usually don't do this country driving thing just because I don't like stopping and going because it eats up the uh, miles per gallon. Um, but the country stuff every once in a while is good though. You gotta do it every once in a while. And it's nice, peaceful, quiet, up a load. I, can't, I didn't know sugar moved like that. I guess, if you think about it, everybody uses sugar, because this plant is huge for sugar. I'm like, bro, is it just regular sugar? He's like, yeah, it's just regular sugar. Bag sugar. It's crazy. I got, I'm picking up 43,000 pounds of bag sugar today. And it smells out here. You wouldn't think it smelled, but it smells bad out here. There's a couple comments that I'm about to read and answer their questions. Uh, one of the comments was a really good question. So I want to get to it right now. So the comment, the guy's asked if he wants to buy a day cab and he's trying to buy cash, but he's not going to drive it himself because he has a full-time job. He said, uh, what should he do to maximize his profits? It's going to be tough unless you have a contract with a company. Like, you know, I used to run day cabs before and I, we were on contract with uh, dealerships. Uh, so we, I ran the Mercedes Benz account. And, you know, no matter what, even if they go up, back up, they're empty. 
they were still getting paid. So I would say that you can do it. Yes, it's possible. The profit margin is not going to be good, especially the routes that I run here in Florida. You know, it's not you're not going to really make much profit off of it. There's still profit to be made. Also about the day cap situation is that I live in between two big cities. So I always I always pick up a load that delivers the following day. That way, because I have a day cap, so I can go home, do my 10 hours at home, at least 10 hours at home. And then from there, I go to drop it off the next day. So it works, and I do it back and forth, back and forth. I think you should get out there, no matter what, man. I mean, it's not gonna hurt to try. You buy, the, you buy that truck cash, that means you can always sell it for cash. So you can get your money back out of it. And it doesn't hurt to try. Oh, and, and this is another thing about it. Keeping a driver, that's tough. Finding a driver is tough. They say it's easier to make a driver right now than it is to hire a driver. And I completely understand. So, oh, another thing. I wanted to tell you guys that I got one of my buddies trying to buy a truck right now. He wants me to manage the, you know, manage the driver and everything. Um, I'm going to run his truck. That's fine. He has. He's the one. If it breaks down, it's all coming out of his side of it and everything else. So I'm, I'm cool with that. But finding a driver, man, that is that is the hardest thing to do right now, you know, um, because, you know, I, I'm a small company. I'm only one truck. I'm only one person in my company, you know, so I'm not giving out sign on bonuses. And right now, everywhere's hiring. So if you as soon as you go online, you see five thousand dollars sign on bonus. You can't compete with somebody giving out five thousand dollars. The only way we can compete with them is because we have day caps and you're home every day. So you're giving them something that those other truck, those other trucking companies can't give them, you know, and that's their time at home. That That's huge. To me, that's huge. Then give me a door. No. <laughs> He's asking everybody, what door? What door? Bro, you're the one giving us the doors. What are you talking about, bro? This ain't looking good already. I hope it don't take too long to get loaded because I'm ready to go already. I just got here. It stinks. And it's starting to get hot. I'm going to take this jacket off. So I would say to maximize your profits, you got to you gotta find a driver first. Um, and it has to be a decent driver. You can't just go hiring anybody to drive your truck. You know what I'm saying? Because experience is everything in this field. Everything. And you can tell the difference between an experienced truck driver and a non-experienced truck driver. I've been driving 11 years, and I still don't have the experience that most of these old people got going backwards they got more miles going backwards than i do forward and i and i got 11 years but these guys been driving 30 40 years it's crazy it's insane i still haven't gotten to a door yet bro i've been here for about an hour still haven't gotten to a door yet see this is what i'm talking about Woo, that's that hurt Finally, finally got unloaded. I got a load tomorrow that picks up right out here tomorrow. Oh, this is not looking good. 